Hey everyone, welcome back to the t-shirt industry. Today we are going to be showing you how to fix a broken keyboard. Now this keyboard is completely fine except for this one key that is broken because it's plastic and made of dead uh, dinosaurs. But today we're going to be showing you how to glue that back on, which is an extensive um, repair that requires removing every single screw that you can see before you except for these ones um, which I have already done here because that would take too much time to show on the video except oh yeah I think I've missed like 12 um, so yeah so I'm just gonna start doing okay so now I have all the screws out I'm just gonna take this thing off Alright, so now we have all the screws out and the top is gone. So now you will see immediately there is a big gaping hole because the the uh, the top is gone. Um, I can't really seem to figure out, like, the key obviously has to go somewhere, but I can't really figure out the point of attachment. I know that it goes here uh, somehow. But it's got this uh, problem, and uh, I think the problem is uh, that it's broken, so it needs uh, desperately fixed. But as you can see right here, we have the queen motherboard of the spaceship that they took apart to put this keyboard together. And it looks like it came from the Matrix movie, because it did, actually. And you will see right away, there is a little LED um, water tower um, for this little town over here. So that's pretty cool. Um, and here you will see the factory um, where they make the little tiny alien toilet seats. Uh, with that being said, what you need to do is find the broken spot on the key. So it would be... Uh, Right about here. You might be thinking it just would be a better idea to get a new key. And I think you're absolutely right. But I'm not rich like you people. So I can't do that. Also, you will observe there is a lot of dust and garbage all over the back of the keys. That's normal. If they don't sell them that way, you're probably getting a bootleg one from... Um, New Jersey so uh, I will be right back because I need um, some adhesives of some kind uh, leave it down in the comments below if I should use uh, hot glue super glue uh, or my my own saliva and um, I probably won't get the comments until after I post the video so they'll be irrelevant but tell me what you think I should have used and um, I will see you later because I need to go generate a butt ton of saliva um, from my earlobes. Okay, so update. You take, um, so let's see, for this set, so turns out they're in sets of like 12. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 12. What the? Okay, they're in big sets. So what you do is you unscrew four screws here, which I already did. And then you're going to take out the top layer, which will be these three keys. I already took those out. They're upstairs. And um, I will show you what we're going to do with them. But basically, when you take them out, they'll come out in sets of three and four. And oh, see, this one is already pretty bad. So we're going to need to do some stuff with that, too. So I'll show you that in a bit. But this is what a gutted keyboard looks like. And you actually play these little... Um, I don't know what you would call these. Uh, buttons. Volcanoes. Uh, they kind of look like ant eater mouths, but really stubby. Uh, so you play on the stubby ant eater mouths, and that's what these keys do too. And these aren't coming out today because they are perfectly fine. So we're going to fix this set of keys and the other set of keys 
and we we're, we can't show you um, what we're doing with them um, in the middle of making them because we need four hands um, because my assistant and helper is doing this with me but I will show you the end result and then put them all together so yeah oh. okay now you can see what we've done with these and basically we've put some moldable glue um, moldable glue right there and it is basically this um, rubber stuff that um, gets really really hard after like 24 hours so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and put them back and screw them on all right so as you can see we have it put together um, all the keys work except for these two so you don't want to touch those but you can play everything except those two and you can play them like you are a piano master like I am yeah so the only thing we have left to do is there's clearly a lot of dust, so we're going to blow the keyboard off with a um, uh, leaf blower. All right, here's a keyboard. Let's see, it's a leaf blower. It's got a low battery, but that'll be okay. And now we begin our leaf blowing music. Now that we've done that, it doesn't look very much different. I mean, it looks super, super clean compared to the way it was before. I mean, if you look at that, there's like so, so much less garbage in the back. And that was my hair, um, not a dead mouse. Yeah. And now we're going to put the case back on and call it good. Okay, so as you can see, I put the cover on, but here's the update. The cover keeps falling off every time that I uh, turn the keyboard back to put the screws on, so I don't know what I'm going to do, because it kind of needs to stay on for this to work, and I'm afraid I'm going to break these keys if the cover, if it's standing on the floor. So what I'm going to do is something. And now you'll see that the keyboard is working. 